Hello, thought of the day with Nurse Linda and this brisk weather right now. Chemical pregnancies. Um, a lot of you guys have experienced those and I get tons of questions about chemical pregnancies. You know, about 50% of pregnancies that start out end up as chemical pregnancies. You know, we don't hear about them that often simply because most gals don't know that that's what they've had. Um, you know, you know how you guys are. Um, you're doing your tests at 9, 10, 11 DPO and you get a positive and then within a couple of three days, it might be negative. Um, might go a little longer than that. But imagine most gals out there who aren't doing all this testing, they don't even know they were ever pregnant. They just get their period. So that's why the frequency of chemical pregnancies is so, is so high. And most of the time, whether it be miscarriage or chemical pregnancy, the fault lies within not anything you've done, um, but rather the egg. You've got to have a normal egg to be able to have a normal embryo, to have a normal pregnancy. And of course, as women, we know our eggs are as old as we are. And that means a good portion of them are not going to be normal. So it's just a matter of sometimes an abnormal egg fertilizes and it just doesn't stay. That's a little bit of the story behind chemical pregnancies. Have a great day, guys.